support. The Maestro, please. October pulling out all of the stops last minute. Everything to talk about this week. This will be for the week of October 30th. 2021. On this day in music, back in 1787, Don Giovanni by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart premieres at the Estates Theater in Prague. It goes on to be arguably one of the best operas of all time. <laughs> So not your traditional Christmas album, or maybe it's an extremely traditional Christmas album. Regardless, if you want a religious experience, you're certainly gonna get it. There are Gregorian chants on here. Don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Is it Christmas calling? I know I didn't say this for the last one, and I do enjoy Nora Jones's take on a lot of these Christmas tunes, but it's October. Singing. Now this is how you do a holiday themed album. More people need to do Halloween albums besides Ice Nine Kills and I guess Finn Squaraldi? Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. This is it. This was the last Beatles album that hadn't had a 50th anniversary yet. All the typical fare on here, all the alternate mixes, all the additional takes. And honestly, in just three years, we're going to be hitting 60th year anniversaries for introducing the Beatles. But I guess that's only if they're only doing North American anniversary editions. You, you Coldplay's space-themed concept album meant to depict the spheres, a different and fictional solar system, which has nine planets, three satellites, a star, and a nebula, all of which get their own tracks on the album. Should have died already, faces. I should have died already, shit, faces. Mac Miller's 2014 mixtape Faces, up here for the first time as on the 15th, it was commercially released both on all streaming platforms and on vinyl. My career about to blast like bubbly. I'm not waiting for her to say she love me. I can tell she fuck with me, man, trust me. I got a 10 year old mixtape like fuck. Studio album number two from Young Thug, extremely heavy on the features. More than half the tracks on this album are collaborations, and not like with just features, like equal collaborations. Those all say with not featuring. This is a throwback all the way from 2010, Kesha's first EP, Cannibal, right off of her debut studio album, Animal, that same year. Back up here, apparently, because it's getting a lot of play on TikTok, which, to be fair, was a Kesha song first. And now I need some help from the maestro, please! Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. See, now the question is, are they gonna do a bunch of 60th anniversary albums for all the Beatles discography, or are they just gonna wait till 75? You, you Critics have been calling this awfully poppy, but you know, for a pop album, the last track on this album, Coloratura, is like 10 minutes long. Should've died already, faces. I should've died already, shit, faces. Not gonna lie, the opening line on Inside Outside is fairly ominous, now knowing everything that happened since 2014. I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests. Way too sexy. And I'm way too sexy to go unprotected. Way too sexy. Only album from the last couple of weeks to actually stay in the top five with all of these releases. Honestly surprised it still wasn't number one. My career about to blast like bubbly. I'm not waiting for her to say she love me. I can tell she fuck with me, man, trust me. I got a 10 year old me still like fuck. That being said, with all the powerful features, or should I say collaborations on this album, it's not entirely surprising that it displaced Drake, at least for one week. That also being said, Drake is on this album. All right, October finished fairly strong, making up for last week. A bunch of things to maybe add to your Halloween playlists. And now I need some help out of my stove, please. My stove. My stove. My stove. My stove. My stove. My stove, please. My stove, please.